Why couldn't the human beings and other living organisms have all originated from other simple primates? There are two illogicalities here. First, there is not one single evidence proving a major evolutionary development. By evolutionary development, we mean the transition of one species into another form of species. Scientists have never been able to verify or spot a single evidence on a transition from species to another, and all of these are just mere speculations. So, how can an atheist choose to believe in a speculative evidence and deny our religion-based solid evidence? According to the minimum gene set concept, no living organism, no matter how primary, can go below 200 genes. Nature magazine stated in their issue dated 6 January 2006 that we could never go below the border of 397 genes. Energy production alone requires at least six genes and if one single gene is missing, the cell will not be able to provide any energy. Likewise, each and every basic function requires a minimum number of genes. Scientists have found that mycoplasma is the most accurate living organism on Earth. It has 468 genes, and each one of these genes contains complex proteins that could be within the range of 1,000 to 10,000 amino acids. Hence, if you have 3 billion specialized pieces of information, these pieces of information are embedded inside the nucleus of each of your cells to produce precise vital functions or even 11,000 pieces of information, then you are facing a giant treasure of specialized information that has suddenly materialized. Atheists fantasize that there were beings that emerged from a count of zero genes, but the theory of minimum gene set came to thwart this fantasy. Obviously, all living organisms have emerged so functionally complex from the very first moment.